So I uh, went off and bought myself an RV. <laughs> now we have to service this thing and make sure everything uh, is functional from a truck standpoint. Everything is functional from, uh, from an RV standpoint inside, so that stuff's all working fine. But it's still a truck at the end of the day. And this is actually a Ford E350 van chassis is what it is. And that's what it's built off of. This has the 6.8 liter V10 engine in it and we're gonna actually do a transmission service today. So what we've got here, just a couple of really basic tools. Uh, I've got um, empty milk jug so we can put the dirty fluid in. I've got a funnel to help us get it back in. I have a transfer pump. This thing is worth its weight in gold. All right, you wanna real, hear a real story on this one? So I own one of these things somewhere in the house and I cannot find it to save my life. So I had to make another run up to the parts store and buy another brand new one. So you know, you know that the minute I crack this thing open, I'm gonna go back in the garage and find the old one. $15 down the drain. Oh well, and then, most importantly, the fluid itself. Now, this is a Ford, and Ford uses Mercon 5. That's the, the version of this transmission fluid that's gonna be in there. Uh, they changed this, since this vehicle is an older one, it used to use an older version of Mercon, now it uses Mercon 5, that's a better one. But some of these don't mix together, so make sure that you know what type of fluid goes in your vehicle. Obviously, this is Ford specific. The concept of what we're gonna do is the same across the board, uh, but make sure you're getting the right stuff specifically for your vehicle. Now, some automatic transmissions have a drain plug on them where you can drain them from below. This one doesn't have it. Uh, some of them have, some like this one, you would actually, if you wanna do a full service, to do uh, the filter that's inside there as well, uh, you'd have to take all the bolt pans off. This one has 20, pan, uh, 20 bolts on the pan, and then you get a, it's a big giant mess, and honestly, we're really short filling this thing anyway. This thing doesn't have that many miles on it, so we're just gonna change out the fluid today. It's gonna be quick and simple, so let's go up top. Hmm. You know how sometimes things don't always work the way they are planned to work? This is one of those times. Uh, this pump, using that is four feet worth of hose. That's not enough, would you believe, to get from the top all the way down to the end. We're gonna need more than that. So, through the magic of television, I'm going to make a run to the hardware store and probably buy eight feet of half-inch tubing just so I've got more than I know that I need, and we'll come right back to it. All right, well, there's the short one. Here's the new one. Double it up just to be safe. So, we'll get this stuff in, it's a uh, half-inch diameter, a half inch outside diameter. So just plug this in, like that, all the way in, nice and snug. This is eight feet, this is, this better be plenty. Oh, there she goes. Look at that, wow, that was a, that was a long way down. All right, so now we're gonna go back to what we were talking about earlier. We're gonna start pumping this thing. It's gonna go pumping into our milk jug, and let's see what happens here. All right, as you can see, that is working. It looks like blood, man. Blood red nastiness right there. Coming through. Pumpy, pumpy, pump. Well, I gotta be honest, I expected to get more fluid out of here than this. Um, it looks like we got about three quarts out of here. Uh, the good news is the, the fluid itself is in really good shape. I mean, it's not burned, it doesn't have a, a nasty scent to it or anything like that. Um, it's, uh, it's actually nice, good, and red, and slippery, just the way transmission fluid should be. So, um, so we're good to go on that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna fill this back up with uh, with the fresh fluid with the amount that we took out so it looks like we're going to put about three quarts in then we're going to get it started up because you always test automatic transmission fluid with the engine running with the engine hot so uh, that's what we're going to shoot to to do uh, and then we'll check the dipstick out and then it'll be time to actually wash this beast too so uh, i've got just a quick little step to go and um, i'm going to go wash my hands real fast ah. all right so i'm going to use what's normally i use this for fuel because it's red uh, but this one's got that long narrow pointy thing so it goes really good down in the dipstick hole so we're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna pour some fresh fluid in. Uh, look how beautiful and red that is. That's so pretty. All 
and then we will use the dipstick to gauge what we're going to do. So let that settle for a second, then we're going to fire this thing up. We'll have to start testing with the dipstick. So I'm actually in the cab of the truck right now, as you can see, and I've got the engine started, and I'm just simply putting the gear selector through the gears, because what it's doing is it's pumping that fluid around, that fresh fluid that we just put in, in the reverse, and then in the park, and that seems pretty good right there. Feels like it's moving around all right. All right, well, let's go check the fluid levels right now, make sure it's good and full. All right, so I just wiped the dipstick off. Let's put it back down in there. Let's take it back out. And again, this thing's super long. And how are we here? We are good. Just a scoop, maybe just a little high, but not too bad. That'll be just fine, and we are good to go. So we're going to call this job finished. We got some fresh fluid in there, and it's better than what was in there for sure, no doubt about it. So uh, don't be afraid of taking on this uh, project yourself. It really is pretty easy. It helps a ton to have one of those uh, sucky pumper pumper sucky things. That thing is awesome. And uh, now all we got to do is clean this mess up, and we'll be good to go. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.